I just want to thank God that we are all alive. You know the beauty of the Christian. Um, we don't look at the natural, we look at the supernatural. We go beyond our physical borders into the spiritual realm. In fact, the Bible said that we live in this world, but we are not of this world. Remember, as if it come like we live in this world, but the things of this world will not interest us. Because the word of God said that if um, if we are a friend to the world, then we are enemy to God. I want to think it mean by that. It means like all the worldly stuff, if we be friends or we we are we are friends to that, we fall so much in love with the worldly things, then there will be a separation between you and God. Because there will not be room in our spirit to love God. Because we will be also packed up, we will be also filled up with the worldly things that you know, the Bible says, the worldly things, it will just be like vanity. It will come, it will go, it will rot. It will not make no sense in the long run. So this morning, we go beyond the natural into the supernatural. We go beyond the things that we can see with our physical eyes. And we go believing on the God that is seen and that we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, is God and the things that we cannot do, He can do it. And I believe that that's supposed to give us all the reasons to enjoy ourselves this morning to give us all the reasons to praise God, to give us all the reasons to put out our best. Amen? Pastor Steve, what do you think about what I just said there? Wow. Prophet, you preach a whole sermon there. Because what matters to us in life and what should matter to us is exactly what you said. Because God is the one who will change us transform us transform us as we heal ourselves to Him and the thing about it to change us and to transform us we need a power that is beyond the physical power beyond the human power beyond the human mind beyond our human comprehension beyond I mean to say, beyond, beyond, beyond everything that we can ever think or we can ever imagine that can change us and that is a God that we serve this morning. He's a powerful God. What's his name, Pastor Steve? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name, people? Jesus. What's his name? You know the worldly people, when a man drink alcohol, the worldly people, and they come down the road, and they drown there. Somebody say, he will get charged. He get charged. He get charged by the wrong spirit. He get charged by the devil. The man, but here what? We're going to allow God to take charge of this church this morning, of our life. Lord, you have your way. Let us stand as we open in prayer and in worship this morning, but maybe we will take it after. Lord, we thank you this morning. Yes, Lord. We come, dear God, just before the King of Kings, Lord. Yes, we Father, with our outward appearance. Yes, Lord. Because you are the King of Kings and you are the Lord, Lord of Lords. 
But more so, Lord, we ask, oh Lord, by your Holy Spirit, yes, Father, that you dress us on the inside. Oh, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for your presence here this morning, Lord. Yes, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for oh, the headship God. of this ministry, dear oh, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you that you are the head, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father, we thank you, oh God, that Father, you said that you will go. And even though we are sorrowful, oh God, you will send your Holy Spirit to yes, God. Lord. And we thank you for prophet and prophetess and in our media, Lord. For that you have raised them up, O oh God, to lead this ministry, O oh God. Oh, Word God. and action ministry, dear yes, God. Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for every leader, O oh God. Jesus. Pastor the God and his wife. Pastor the God and his wife. Yes, Lord. Father, the youth leaders, O oh God. Jesus. Father, we thank you for every worship, our Lord Jesus. That you have raised up in this place, O God. Father, we thank you for every instrumentalist, O God. Father, we pray your anointing power here this morning. Father, we thank you for your word, O God. That you are the minister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Come on, everybody get connected. Father, we thank you, oh God, for this God. Come on, everybody get connected. Can I give you the heart? God, be honest, but not true. Truly independence, oh God. Oh, yes, 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 yes God. Oh, God. Father, we pray that you, oh God. We pray yes, for you, oh God. As the waters cover the ocean, O oh God, Canada has a big Oh, sweet Jesus. And if you want to live in love this morning, Hallelujah. Even as O oh Lord, from your presence, O oh God, as we come to worship, Hallelujah. We come to pray in you. Hallelujah. And come to pray in you. Hallelujah. Lord, you are raising us up, O God, transforming us, O God, by your 
to look at me? As you look at me right now, everybody? Just look. Watch. Look, watch, 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 watch. There is an awesome presence of God in this place right now. As you look, and as I wave this cloth, the anointing of God is going to come right where you is. Look at me right now. Right now. Take it up, Bell The presence of God. Take it up, take it up, Bell Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you. 
so much. Come. Take that mic. You feel the part of God in this place? Yes. Awesome, Mr. God. Awesome. Awesome. What do you want to say about Jesus? He is awesome. He is awesome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Not can be compared unto him. Mm. Hallelujah. His presence. Jesus. Is awesome. Hallelujah. Come on, we need to turn up the air conditioner. Praise God. Eight. Hallelujah. Praise God in heart. Jesus. Heart. Heart. What a baby. If you have to choose this morning, who would you choose? Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah! Why? He's sweeter than the name of my God. Hallelujah. So today is Sunday. He's sweeter than the day before. Jesus. He's sweeter than Friday. Amen? Hmm? Every day with Jesus. Sweeter than the day. Sweeter than the day before. I feel it's every day with Jesus is sweeter than sweeter than yesterday. Amen. And the day before. That is why I want to be just like him. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Just like him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. This morning. Jesus. It's an awesome person of God. I want the word of God say. In the presence of God, what we have? Fullness of joy. We have the liberty. Fullness of joy. And on his right hand. <laughs> Bless us. Forevermore. Amen. 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 And that is only for me and you, for everybody. Everybody with Jesus. Hear my Lord. Everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if we have freedom, Lord. Your word said we have freedom, Lord, in you. And we have fullness of joy. So, Lord, we are entitled to do a lot more this morning. By your grace, by your hope, and by your faith. Not by our own, but by God's own. Amen? By God's own. Just a since we have freedom, get the girls together and we can use our freedom this morning. Because if we have freedom, we have freedom to dance. The Bible says, use your freedom, but not to sin. Amen? So, yes. so, in the meanwhile, the girls are going to get organized with the boys. Amen? Stay with the people as well. Amen? What do you mean? Say something this morning, man. Very common. Hallelujah. Moses to the Lord. In your presence, not going to go with us. I don't want to go. Hallelujah. It's so important to be in the presence of the living God. Because in His presence, hallelujah, things happen. You see, you just can't be the same in the presence of God. Hallelujah. When God comes down, glory to God. Hallelujah. Expect God to do something. Expect God to say something. 
something. Hallelujah. Why the call that we serve, he is not that good to God, but he is alive. Hallelujah. Some people worship a God that have eyes but just can't see. They worship a God that I had and just can't hear. Hallelujah. But the God that we serve, hallelujah. The Bible says that his eyes run that true and for the earth, beholding the good and the evil. His ears are open unto our cry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is here today. Hallelujah, to do something about your circumstances this morning. Something, hallelujah. He comes out to deliver. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. In his presence, Jesus. I'm not going to give it up. I don't want to go. Hallelujah. I want to be in his presence. So much. Things well so much. But the presence of God is the presence of God. Lord Jesus, Father, in your presence, in Congregus' feet, Lord, we can run. Lord, there is. Lord, in spite of the stumbling block. Lord, you give us strength, Lord, to overcome, Lord, every obstacle, Lord, you take our hands, Lord, you take our spirit, Lord, you encourage us, Lord, you pray. From the past, the enemy. Lord, you take a hold of our spirit. 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 Our Jesus, Jesus, come, please worship us. Come, 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 the devil like Satan like religiousness where he limit you. Satan like to limit people. Amen. Or get your feet loose and dance with Jesus. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead.
is so wonderful. We're going to do our next dance this morning. We will do this morning a hip hop man. And that is going to be done all for the honor and glory of God. The man, as the girls go and get their gloves to the back, they will arrange themselves. Praise the Lord, Pastor Ricardo. For well, this morning, everybody, the word of God said that we have liberty. The man, we have liberty. But what, is, what are you going to do with your freedom this morning? Go on and run in the game field? Huh? What are you going to do with your freedom? Go and run around my savannah. We're going to use our freedom to praise God, to worship, and do what He called us to do. Pastor Ricardo, thank you very much. Pastor Ricardo will be bringing the word this morning. We are not going to be religious this morning. While the word is coming, we're going to the flow of the spirit. We're going to dock in, do our dance. The word will come again. Amen. So we're going to enjoy the fullness of the presence of God. Pastor Ricardo, good morning, sir. Good morning, church. We say in the presence of the Lord, there is joy, there is happiness, and there is strength. And all those who feel like they're energized because here what going on. We do it back to bring our word because what went on already for the morning. The glory of God is in this place. And we just want to praise Him and worship Him. Because He's God. And we don't need anything to worship God more than to surrender our spirit unto the Lord. For when we cry out to Him, He's going to answer us. Because the word of God said, the just shall live by faith. And this morning I'm going to read from the book of Habakkuk, from the Old Testament. Amen. I'll be reading from chapter 2. But when I just said, I learned something about Habakkuk. Habakkuk, he was a prophet. And he began to question God because things wasn't working how he feel it should have worked. Amen. So when you go home, do some home lesson and look at read book. But we're going right now into the world. And after questioning God, chapter 2, verse 2, listen to what God has to answer and tell him. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, a soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Amen. Now many times, things not working in our life are how we will like it to work. But we need to hold to the vision. And not our little personal vision, but the vision of the Lord. Just like how Moses had a vision that he wanted to see this Lord that everybody always talking about. And God revealed himself unto Moses. It's the same thing with us. We need to hold to the vision of God at all times. The enemy will come in your life. The enemy will bring doubt. He will bring frustration. He will bring deceivers to deceive you. To turn away from the vision. But you must always hold to the vision. Because God is always on the throne. He didn't come off on the throne yesterday. He didn't come off today. And he surely will not come off tomorrow. 
God is still on the throne. No matter what we are going through, He is on the throne and He is listening to us. Amen? But we must always remember, once we are just be supposed to live by faith, many times we tend to forget what is the true meaning of faith. Amen? Now faith is when nothing else ain't working in your life and you can't see no way that it happened. God step in. High gear step in. And you tap in to the Spirit of the Lord. Amen? But we will pause for a cause because I see the dancers ready. Amen? We will dance with the lights. Gentlemen, who by the light switch. And remember, we do it always for the honey, honor and glory of God. As I talk about honey, our voice has honey in the mind, the sweetness of the Lord. Amen?
And the Lord told him to write the vision. Write it so that those who read it will run. And you know why? Because it's of the Lord is something good. You see, we as Christian people, many times we just have an earthly vision. The big house, the fancy car, the big job, the money, the bank, the plenty education. All right or wrong? But the vision is of a spiritual nature. That unless you can open your spiritual eyes, you will not see the vision. So there is nothing to write. The vision is held up with your spiritual ears. It is only when you tune into the Spirit of the Lord. You will hear the word of the Lord so you can get the vision to write it. So that only those who have the eyes will see it to read it. Amen. Because the just shall always live by faith. You know in the scripture, faith is mentioned approximately 167 times. Spirit is mentioned approximately 67 times. And fear is mentioned approximately 105 to 115 times. So here you have three basic words. Faith, fear and spirit. Amen. Many times fear comes into our spirit that keeps us from division. So we have nothing to live by. Because once fear comes between you and God, you tend to give up. And you forget the vision. For example, God gave the prophet the vision for what in action ministry. You know what he did with it? He took it and he run with it. He didn't put it on a bookshelf. He didn't hide behind a post from it. But he accepted it. God gave each one of us here a vision. The thing is, are we prepared to live the vision? Or is fear allowing us to hide from it? Because God is always on the throne. He do ever come off. We know how we wake up this morning. Nobody knows. But God knows. And God knows how we will want to sleep tonight. And wake up again in the morning. Because you know why? The just shall live by faith. Amen. Now there are many times we have more faith in the taxi driver and the maxi driver that drive in reckless than we have faith in God. You know why? As we sit down in the maxi to go in town, we drop to sleep. Because we show the maxi driver will take me safely to town. We have faith in it. Amen. You know when we go through a situation. All how you're praying and you're reading the word and you're listening to the minister, minister the word. We can't yourself with worry how we go solve it. Why we just can't do like how we just do in the maxi. Pray to God, talk to him about it, and lie down and sleep with him. Because you know why? He has the vision, he will give you the vision. All we need to do is relax in it and have faith. The just will always live by faith. But how many of us can call ourselves just? Just and faith go hand in hand. Because if you're not just, you can't live by faith, you're fooling yourself. If you're living a life of lies, deceit, moving and contemporaneous, murdering, hatred, unforgiving, you can't be just. It's difficult to walk by faith. Because these things are the things of the enemy. He will always keep bringing it and stirring it up in your life over and over and over. So in order for me to walk by faith, we must be just. And we must be just in the Lord. And the number one way to be just in the Lord is to surrender our spirit unto the Lord. And we can get that connection to the Lord. So we can hear His voice when He speaks to us. We can see the things that is of Him. We can see the heavenly things. We're going to praise Him. We can worship Him. We're going to glorify His holy name. Because He is God. And He will always be God. Why worry? Years ago, there was a gentleman that said, Why worry? Be happy. You know, he commits suicide. So he did fooling people. Because he tells people around the world, Don't worry. Be happy. Everything will work out. And when things come hard in life, he commits suicide. And many times, we choose to listen to that kind of 
music and that kind of message more than the message that is ministered by the word of God in the house of the Lord. The choice is yours, people. The choice is yours. Whatever choice you make, make up your mind to live by it. Because we live in, in perilous times. I will show my side going to here. I will let me all get caught down in love until. What time are you really living in? Now it's time to walk by faith. It's time to be just. Because the time coming as the word of God said, Two shall be in the field, one taken and the other one left. Two shall be in the bed, one taken and the other one left. Which one we want to be? Do you want to be taken or do you want to be left? The question today lies with you and your spirit and your connection unto the spirit and Lord is only God to help us. Amen. So thank God for what an action ministry that we can praise God, we can worship God, we can glorify Him and dance in any kind of dance. As we go in and as we are going to right now, because we go in and worship and minister in dance to the edifying and the glory of the kingdom of God. Amen. Dancers. Look how beautiful they look. The guys, they are guys, they look handsome. Steve Axel and me too. Amen. So people, the Spirit of God is in this place. So we're going to do it for Jesus. Go with it.
Sim, vai!